Um, I think fairly, my fans have been able to draw the line between my entertainment life and mm -hmm. my, you know, um, political, uh, um, maybe ideologies right. or affiliation mm -hmm. or whatever they would call it. So I would see a few bashings on Twitter, mm -hmm. maybe one out of a hundred positives. Okay. Yeah, those I still take They will always account. be there. <laughs> yes. But one of them was one, one guy that came at me saying that I should um, apologize for what happened at the <laughs> Legon Gate right, incident. Right, 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 right. There was a lot of people there that were urging me on, giving mm. me fake fans. Mm. One of them said, deleting the video is not the most honorable thing to do if right. you don't apologize, apologize for right. it. I read that thing in the morning and I, I tweeted my apology that same right, minute. Right. And I got so much positive um, okay. re reviews and remarks for doing from the right there. thing. Mm -hmm. So if I had taken that one as a minor, comment because it's just one out of plenty mm. good mm. ones mm. maybe i would have felt so good about myself and mm. i would have just gone down the drain with that mm. yeah but back to politics people um will always have their opinions people will always have where they belong and as as a man matures you would have to reach a, an age where you will be confident enough to be able to air your opinions mm. and defend them mm. you know so that is where I stand when right. it comes to these things. Right.